All right, well, I heard from someone yesterday that the Fibble was interesting, but I didn't get a chance to do it, so I decided that today I would actually do today's Fibble and yesterday's Fibble. So that's why there's two Fibbles on the screen here. The one on the left is yesterday's, the one on the right is today's. Fibble is one of them that'll let you go back and do previous puzzles. So uh, I've got both of them on here. Uh, I'm gonna do the same guesses for both puzzles and try and solve them at the same time. Um, and if you're not familiar with Fibble, by the way, it's like Wordle, but on every row, one of the clues is a lie. Um, and uh, interestingly, I actually hadn't looked at what the words were. I just sort of was loading the puzzles up. They both have the O and then L and E, but switched. Interesting, so that'll be good. Now, of course, one of them has a green, one of them has a gray. Got the yellow L. So I definitely want to do a word. Now, sometimes I do Fibble where I have to guess a word that would be a valid guess, but obviously I'm not going to be able to come up with something that would be a valid guess for both of them. So we're just going with the, the normal Fibble strategy here. So I want to repeat the O, the E, and the L. Now, other than that, um, we could do a lot of different things. Uh, we could do something like motel. That would be good. That's a good one for over here. It's not terrible for over here. It still repeats three of the letters. Has a chance for some contradictions. Let's try motel. Okay, let's do it over here. Okay. So... Okay, so there's... Oh, right, so the, one of the L's is a lie. One of the E's is a lie. Everything else must be true on those rows. Now, over here... One of the L's is a lie, right? We know one of these two L's is a lie. So, therefore the E and the O are true. Now we don't know other than that if they're true, but we do know that on whichever line the L is a lie, the E will be true and the O will be true, which makes it true on both of them. Now, interesting. So, over here we know there's the O second, and over here we know there's no O. So that's great. Um, So, right, okay, so one of the E's is a lie. One of the L's is a lie. We know we know that, so it's gotta be like, you know, diagonal corners like this, right? And so we can't have an E and an L in the word. We have either an E fourth or we have an L somewhere else. Well, this would be the E fourth, this, this setup. Otherwise it's this way and we have an L somewhere else. So, uh, we could do something with another L. Oh, no, 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 we could, we could still have, no, no, no. That was wrong. Because if the lies are this way, it could still have an, an E-L at the end. It could be like this. Um, what would that be? You know, we could guess, we could guess Morel, like the Morel mushrooms. It's not gonna be the answer, obviously, because if there's the E, the L, then, I mean, we know there's no M. But, we've got the green M over here, so I think that's a, that's a good, chance for some contradict okay so the m is the lie so the rest of these are true which means uh this l is true which means this is yep it's like this so we know all of those so far so there is an r interesting okay let's do more l over here okay so one of the two m's is a lie we know this is true we know this is true one of the m's is a lie and one of the l's is a lie so these two are both true so there is an r so uh so all we've got so far is Now let's think about this if if this L is true then both of these L's were lies And that would make this true so then all we would have is the R and nothing else everything else would be gray If this one is a lie then this one's true And this one is a lie, which makes this one true. But then we still don't know if this L is true, because it could be that it's supposed to be green, so it could still be a lie. But we either have an M and an L, because this would be a lie, or no M. This is true, this is a lie. And then maybe you're... Yeah, yeah. Or no M and no L. Because 
if if the if the gray M is true, then the green M is a lie, which makes the gray L true. So we either have an M and an L, or no M or L. Okay. <laughs> and we know there's no M or L on the left. So, uh, I definitely want to do an R at the beginning or the end, because there's a, a yellow R in the middle on both of them. Now, we, we know the O and the E, but we also know that there's no O and E on the right, so I don't know if I want to guess both of those. Maybe. We could do something like rolls. Um, because we know there's no L on this one, so a possible contradiction there. We could get an easy, easy lie identification there. Also, we're trying to figure out if there is an L over here. Um, again, O and E could be easy uh, lies to, to identify over here. S is a good letter that we haven't done yet. Let's go with that. Okay, so rolls and rolls. Okay, interesting. So, we know this one's true. We know this is the lie, because we know there's no O. So these are all true. There's no L, which means these are lies which means this is a lie, these are true. So now we know, all we know over here is the R. There's an R, it's not first or third, that's all we know. So that's great. Uh, <laughs> over here, we know this is true, we know these are true. Now I'm inclined to think the R is probably true, but it could be a lie, which would mean we have an R at the end, it would also mean that we have an S then, because if the R is a lie, then, oh no, then we don't have an S. Actually, if the R is true, then there has to be an S. So, if the R is true, uh, then it's either an S at the end or an S third. Uh, I mean, it could be something like robes, or ropes, or, you know, lots of things, or it could be rosy, or, uh, if the S was there, there's not as many things. Hmm. We need to find the R over here. So, let's do a word with an R at the end, because this R could be at the end, we don't know. Now, if the R is at the end, that means the R is a lie, which means there's no S. Uh, we need to find some vowels over here, too. So let's do some vowels that aren't O and E. Because at this point, there's probably no other vowels on the left, so if we do get uh, a vowel, you know, it's probably a lie. Let's do infer and see what we can infer from the answer to that. Okay, interesting. So we know this is the lie. Uh, let's let's go ahead and submit it over this. We don't forget. Okay, this is the lie, which means these are all true. Which then, well, I mean, we could have an R at the beginning and the end. Otherwise, if this is the lie, let's mark it as a, a possible lie, then the S is true. Right, right. So if the R is true, then the S has to be the lie, and it would have to be Roser. So I think that R is going to be a lie. The S is true. So we've got O something ER, which can be a lot of things. Um... All right, and over here, we know this is true. We don't know much other than that. Uh, I'm inclined to think the R is probably true, but if we can't have O-R or E-R, maybe A-R? Uh, something like sugar, but there's no S. That would be a good guess on the right, because it would check for U and A and G and, you know, kind of verify that the R, you know, hope we could get a contradiction there. We know there's no S, so that could be an easy lie identification. But I don't like sugar for a guess on the left. So, over here, if we know it's like this, what could that be? Um, cower, power. Power is possible. So let's do let's do super maybe. Or well, but 
No. Let's do pause. Let's do pause. I like that. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So we know this is true. We know this is true. Uh, I mean, the odds of an A or a U at this point, because it has to be something like this. Are, I mean, I just, I don't think it works. So I think those are true, which means the P is a lie, so it could be power. Power would work if that's supposed to be green. Okay. Ooh, actually, rower is also possible. But if this is true, if the R is true, there has to be an S, so it's not possible. Never mind. Okay, and over here. We know the E is true, we know the S is true. Uh... Hmm... It could be P-A if the A was the lie. But then, what's gonna be the rest of the... <sighs> I'm running out of guesses here. So I'm thinking power on the left. Ooh, it could be poker too, though. If the P is the lie, then it's P O something E R, which could be power or poker. It could also be the P is a lie and there's no P, in which case. Cower is still possible. I think the P has to be a lie, though. Because if the P is true, then it's O-P-E-R, and then the A or the U has to be a lie, which would have to be at the beginning. No, that doesn't work. So the P has to be the lie. And we know that this is the lie, because we can't have... Yeah. So... Hmm. So it could be power, it could be poker, it could be cower, probably something else it could be. All right, um, and over here, I wanna think that the P, that the A is the lie and it's P A. Cause we have to have a vowel. It could be that the U is the lie, and we have an A and a U. But then it would have to be like... Something A, probably A-R. It would have to be like... U-A-R, something like that. Or A-U-R. Don't like that as much. Now the A... Interestingly, if the P is true, then we either have an A second, or there's an A and a U, and the A can't be second. But there's no O or E. Well, there could be an I as well still. We still have the I as a possibility, don't we? In fact, if we're assuming this R is true, then there has to be an I, N, or F in the word. So there could be no A or U and there's an I. Uh, could be Pixar. <laughs> if the I was a lie. No, if the A is true, then the U has to be the lie, so it can't be Pixar. I don't think that's probably an acceptable answer anyways. It's probably considered a proper proper word, uh, proper noun. Um, so could it be P-A-I or I here, something like this? Or could it just be an I? What could it be? We could have P-R-I uh, prior, but there's no O. 
All right, one thing we could do is we could do pod. Now that helps us check kind of the PW over here for power. Chance for a couple of contradictions here with the P and the A, the E. I just, I don't know what this is over here. Hopefully we'll get another letter. I just, I don't know. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm still thinking power. If this is, if these are both lies, then it's power. Okay, if this, if, if, uh, oh, okay, so we know this is a lie, right? The question is, so this is also a lie. Guaranteed this is a lie, which means the rest of these are true. So it's some, oh, but it could still be cower. Oh no, and we've only got two guesses left. So we gotta get them both right here. Ah. Okay, one of the P's is a lie, which makes the A's true. Uh, ooh, we know the E is a lie. So this is true. So this is a lie. These are true. This is true, because that's a lie. Okay, so there is a P, it's not there. Uh, so, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? There's an A and there's a P. They are not there, there's an R. Probably at the end. If the R is at the end, we need an I, N, or F, though. Could we have... P, A, R? Something like that? Or... P, A, I, R? Or... I-P-A-R, or, I don't know. Interesting. So, we either have an I, and an A, or the only vowel is an A. It's also possible that the R is a lie. No, we know there's an R. So if the R is a lie, then we have to have an R, it has to be yellow, and we have to have an R second or fourth. So there is an R in the word. There's definitely an R, an A, and a P in the word. Oh, and there's no N. Look, we had the gray N up here. There's no N. Do we know anything about I or F? No, we don't, but there's no N. So if the R is true, then we have to have an I or an F in the word. And I can't think of anything that has an I or an F and an R at the end. So, I'm kind of thinking the R might be the lie, which means there's an R second or fourth with an A and a P. Something like graph would work. I think, I think graph, I think it almost has to be graph. I can't think of anything else that has an R second or fourth and an A and a P, but the P and the A are not in those positions. I think it's graph. I'm gonna go with graph, and I'm hoping that somehow it'll confirm that there's a P, or confirm that there's not a P in this word, and it'll just dis disambiguate between power and cower. Otherwise, we'll just have to do a 50-50 there. Graph. It's graph. Yes. Okay. Now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So we know there's an R. This is probably true. We know this is true. Now the G is interesting because if if the P is the lie, right? So so if there's not a P, if the word was cower, the P would have to be a lie, but so would the G. It can't be cower. It can't be cower because the P and the G would both have to be lies. It's going to be power because for the G to be true, for the G to be true, let's think about this. So, is there any way the H could be a lie? That would mean there has to be an H. It means there has to be a G, R, P, and H. But we already know there's an O and an E. That would be six letters. The H has to be true. Could this R be a lie? Well, we already know there's an R in the grid. So for that to be a lie, it would have to be green. But we already know there's an O second. So the R cannot be a lie. So it's the G or the P. If the G, if, if the P is the lie, because we've already got O, W, E, R. We already have the O, W, E, R. So we can only have a G or a P in the word. We can't have both. So it's either Gower, 
But in order to be Gower, which isn't even a word, this would have to be a lie, and this would have to be a lie. That's not possible. It can't be Gower. We can't have the G and the P. Therefore, the G has to be the lie. The P has to be true. The answer is power. Yes. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a close one. That was a really close one. Um... Yeah, after I guessed, you know, after like infer and around pause, I thought I thought I wasn't gonna get them both. And after pod, I thought for sure I was done. Wow, okay. Well, you know, it looked like this was gonna be a good one uh, with the O-E-L and the O-L-E and, you know, but they just, the R is the only common letter between the two. Oh, the P, there's an R and a P, I guess. There's two common letters. It shouldn't have been that hard, but I just, Maybe I just was getting unlucky with where I was getting the, the contradictions, but... Okay, I succeeded. That was a tough one, but I succeeded. So let me know how you did with today's Fibble and yesterday's Fibble. And if you tried a double Fibble, let me know how that goes. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Here's an interesting question. Which song has spent the most time at number two on the Billboard Top 100? Without oh, okay. making it to oh, that was really one. good. On the left, awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking. Now, alf alphabet. Alphabet. There we go. That's a good one. <laughs>